they are now in pristine condition. And the gold is gold leaf. It's actual gold which is laid on by varnishing the surface of the metal and then you take gold leaf which is contained in what's called a book. You get a book of gold leaf and one book is about that size costs 20 pounds and there may be thin thin slivers of gold and by a kind of attraction was it a, a, a electric attraction I, I forget the signs of it it actually flies onto the the surface and then they they take a very fine brush and smooth it over and that's how these were painted so that's the kind of technical information and then the guy who sandblasted them he saw one or two little uh, problems with the, the metal work and he corrected it so these gates have been definitely uh, refurbished one word and restored another word now you can mention that the Stuart Society first thought about giving a memorial to the bad gate 1914. Okay. Because of the war at the time, things got put off and put off, and then they rethought about it and they thought that gates would be an ideal present to the town uh -huh. in respect of Walter the Sixth, Lord High Steward of Scotland. Mm -hmm. So, well, because again, the next war came along and things, this is how these things take a long time to put in place. It's not until 1952 that the gates were presented to the town. I think it was Provost Hunter at that time who accepted them on behalf of the town. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.